Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another video just for you. Now, today it's going to be in part more of a public service announcement, a little bit of happy mail, some works in progress, you know, just a little bit of this and that and the other. Um, please forgive the extraneous noise my central air is on because it is another hot day here in New York. Yes, I hope all of you are doing really well. Um, now, first things first, I want to, I want to rip off the band-aid first. You know, I, some people, they rip off the band-aid slow. I would like to rip it off nice and quickly for you. Yes. Um, the, one of the main reasons why I'm doing this video right now is because recently I was informed that there were ads, mid-roll, they, they call them mid-roll ads, um, in one of my videos. Ah! And now what's funny, what's really funny to me, is that just recently, I believe about a week ago, I did a video explaining the way that I use ads and how I like to put ads at the beginning and at the end of my videos. I like to put ads there so that it's not obtrusive, but that way I can still earn some revenue because I put a lot of time and effort into my videos for you guys. Hmm. So that being said, um, also that I don't put ads throughout my videos because I find that that is well, it's annoying at best, okay, but at worst, when you're trying to do a tutorial and there are ads interspersed throughout, it's very distracting and that's not my style. And I really went into a lot of depth as to my explanation and so forth in that video that I did about a week ago. And I found it really ironic that somebody was very kind and wrote a, a comment to me saying, uh, yeah, that video where you were saying that you don't do mid-roll ads, there were mid-roll ads. In fact, there were like four of them, and I was shocked. I was very shocked. And so I looked at the settings, and sure enough, there were mid-roll ads on that video. I didn't put them there. No, I didn't put them there. And apparently also the settings had been changed so that there were non-skippable ads as well. And I'm like, okay, I didn't do that. And then I looked at other videos. All of my videos had been changed. All of them. Um, where there were mid-roll ads and non-skippable ads and every video and so I, I went through a bunch of my more recent videos and I manually changed the settings. And because that's, I, I cannot state this enough, that's not my style. I am not, I'm not into the whole money grab thing. Um, and it's, it's more of a distraction than anything else. Now, if you want to help me and you want to support my channel, great, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, if you see an ad at the beginning of the video, um, just let it play. Now, granted, if it's 40 minutes, skip it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not unreasonable. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not unreasonable. Um, and I want you to enjoy the videos. But if you want to, you know, support, you know, let the ad play through for a bit. And then, yeah, enjoy the video. Um, but as far as how this happened, I am not 100% sure, quite frankly. Uh, apparently, I'm not the only one going through this issue at the moment. Um, I did do a little bit of research and tried to see how I could fix this problem. And I'm at my... I can't quite figure it out. Now, apparently, this change was made across the board. So if you have a video that is 8 to 10 minutes long, all of a sudden, mid-roll ads, they are just automatically put in there. So, that being said, here's my plan, okay? I, I, I'm, I need you to be a little patient with me, but here's my plan. What I would like to do over time, this is not going to happen overnight, no, no. 
Um, but over time, what I plan on doing is to manually go through all of my videos. Now, granted, I have over a thousand of them on my channel. <laughs> um, but I plan that this is the plan. I plan on going through all of my videos and manually changing them back to my settings of just having an ad at the at the beginning and at the end, and if you choose to watch them, great. If not, I understand. But that is what I plan on doing. Now, it is going to take me some time. Yes, yes, it is going to take me some time. It is not going to happen overnight, um, and I do apologize for the inconvenience, but I'm doing the only thing that I know to do. Um, so that being said, I would really appreciate your patience with me on this one because I, I'm more interested in fostering and nurturing a, a trust between creator and viewer, um, and nurturing a relationship, uh, with all of you so that you're more interested in coming back for more content as to, as opposed to being like, oh, there were seven ads in a 30 minute video. I'm, I'm wasting my time and etc. etc. No, I mean, I want you guys to enjoy what I do because I enjoy what I do. So I want there to be a reciprocity, you know, a, a relationship going on back and forth. And I appreciate your support ever so much. I really do. And also, um, the reason why I'm posting this on video is because, well, I did post a, a written letter in the community section of the channel, and it was a little letter explaining exactly what I'm explaining now, but um, maybe you didn't see that notification, so that's why I'm doing this here and now. Now, let me tell you, the comments that I received on that letter that I wrote, you guys are the best. You guys are so sweet and so supportive and understanding that this is not my doing. This is, it, it's not my tactic not my tactics to, you know, do that with my channel. And so I am making, I'm making efforts and I'm going to continue to make efforts to fix the situation to the best of my ability. Now, if YouTube decided that this was an overall good thing, well, if that's, if that's the tactics that you go for, sure. To me, it seems like you have a bowl, a little bowl of ice cream. Okay, you have a little bowl of ice cream and, you know, it's vanilla ice cream and you want to put a little hot fudge on it. Well, for me, the ads are like, you know, a nice tablespoon of hot fudge on top and, ooh, it's a nice accent. Now, by putting on the mid-roll ads and the non-skippable ads, to me, that's sort of like taking a 30-gallon barrel of hot fudge and pouring it over two scoops of vanilla ice cream. It's a bit much, you know, um, and it's just, it's not, it's not my tactics, you know, it, it's not, it's not what I'm interested in doing. So again, I, you know, all I ask is for you to be patient while I try to change this and fix this to the best of my ability. Now, I'm not saying, you know, that this is a horrible, horrible thing if I couldn't change it and I couldn't fix it, then it would be a horrible, horrible thing as far as I'm concerned. But as far as I'm aware, I can change it and I'm going to do what I can to do so. So please be patient and I will do the best that I can to get us back to where we were, okay? <laughs> so thank you ahead of time. And, um, you know, let's go on to some other things, okay. All right, so in one of my previous videos, I was showing you a scarf that I was working on and I finished it. I'm so excited. This was done with, I believe it was Premier Coffee Shop and I love how it came out. It's so pretty. And I did go into a second skein with this scarf. Now, again, what I always like to do is I like to fold it in half, drape it around my neck and then fit my two little ends through the loop and there you go oh this is so soft and squishy absolutely love how it came out it doesn't come down to my waist but i really just i wanted to do the bind off and be done with it but oh 
I love it. And it's, it's my colors and everything. I think eventually though, that I am going to put this up for sale on my Etsy store. Um, because I only need so many scarves, right? So that being said, and I love my Doctor Who scarf. It's my favorite. It's my absolute favorite. And, um, so also with the same yarn, cause I did have, I did have some left over, um, that knitted gaiter um, that I was working on, I believe the last time, I decided, you know what, I wasn't crazy about the thick yarn. So I'm using the same yarn that I was just using and I'm doing a, a smaller version. And I just love the color changes. It's so pretty. And this is, let's see, these are size 10 and a half needles. And I think this is a weight of four. I'm pretty sure this is a weight of four and it's just coming along very, very nicely. And I'm very happy with the result. It's just a two row repeat. You know, you're just adding eyelets on either end and then, you know, the next row you're just knitting across. It's really simple. So that's yet another thing and another, another thing. Now, this is sort of a sneak peek of things to come. This is something that I plan on doing a tutorial on, but I, I wanted your input, um, sorry, um, wanted your input. And, you know, if this is something you guys are interested in, um, it's a hat that I designed and I'm personally, I'm really pleased with it. Granted for me personally, it's not my style only because I have no hair. And this hat that I designed is really designed more for somebody with hair it would help, right? Um, this is a, a pineapple, lacy, sort of slouchy type beret. And yes, I am going to put it on and somewhat embarrass myself, but what can you do? But now I'm going to just fix it a little here. Okay. Now it has five points on it. And so we got a pineapple right here and then we have more pineapples throughout now the fact that you can see my scalp it's not very flattering i get that but i really do like um the the sort of boho aesthetic going on here now i'm also going to um scooch myself around and show you I'm wearing my PJs. <laughs> Going to sort of scooch myself around so you can see what it looks like from the back. Now, I, I hope you can see this very well. I, I hope. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll back up. So that is a project. <laughs> that I designed recently and I like it. Now, the thing is, is that if you do it like this, it has um, sort of the, the two points in the front. You could change it where you have the, the one point in the front and then the two points in the back, you know, could change it around a little bit and you can make this bigger, um, but, um, you know, and yeah, I know it's very, very lacy. So for me, it would be, an instant sunburn, and then I would have this this pattern uh, burnt into my scalp, which that's that's no fun. But I love how this came out, very very much so. And so I don't know. You guys tell me. You know, I think it's fun. You know, it's sort of it's almost like a snood, um, which is sort of like a a fishnet. Um, hair bun kind of thing, but it's sort of, you know, to me, it's like a, a, a boho slouchy beret, if you will, but I'm pleased with it. Also, this was, um, pound of love in pumpkin spice. So <laughs> let me know what you guys think, you know, um, because I would like to do a tutorial on this. Um, but, uh, I always, I always like your input very, very much. And so that's pretty much it as far as works that I'm currently doing. I am working on something else, but it's it's a long way from being finished. I have been stitching and frogging and stitching and frogging and 
more frogging than stitching. Um, I've been working on and off on it for quite some time. I want to make another sort of mandala-esque, circular-ish kind of shawl again, and that's kind of what I'm working on, but it's slow going, so we'll see what happens. But now, the pace de resistance, I have some happy mail. Mm, I love opening your letters. Oh, let's see what we got. Okay, so first up, now I've got three of them. First up, this is from Suzanne in, I've got my list, Alabama. Yes, I should know that, right? Yeah, so this is from Suzanne in Alabama. Thank you, Suzanne. Got a little letter here. I love, 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 love reading your, your letters and your happy mail. I do. And with everything that's going on right now, I could use the pick-me-up, so I appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, Fiber Spider, I love your videos. I'm trying very hard to learn this craft. Well, it takes time, patience, and humility. I will be the first to say that, indeed. I wish I would have paid attention when my mother tried to teach me when I was young. Well, hindsight's twenty twenty, and I'm no stranger to that. Um, is there any way you could send me, make a video, or sell me the pattern of how to make a petite toddler hat tutorial? I would be forever grateful. A new spiderette. All right, well, thing about toddler garments, toddler, children, etc., etc. Um, now, it's, it's a hat, so that's not that bad. I mean, that's much more doable in some respects, because... When you're making the crown, just make fewer stitches. So, um, now this was Suzanne, correct? Okay, so, Suzanne. All right, when you are making the, the crown, if you're starting at the top of your crown, and then you're working your way down. Now, typically, for a adult-sized hat, typically what I do is I start with uh, 12 double crochets, in the very, very center of the top of the crown. And then I double them, so you've got 24. And then I add 12 more, so it would be two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet. So then it goes from 12 to 24 to 36, and then keep going on in that similar fashion um, until eventually you reach 72, which for me generally works for a, an adult-sized hat. So instead of going all the way up to 72, perhaps stop at, say, 60 or, was it 48? You know, something, you know, a smaller uh, initial circumference of your top crown. And then just do double crochets in every stitch. And then eventually it will form a, a cup shape and then, you know, Perhaps do some front and back post double crochet stitches for a ribbing, if that's your style. And boom, there you go. So you can technically make a hat any sort of circumference that you want. Um, personally, I like 12 as my base number. And then just you know keep adding 12 each successive round until you have the diameter that you want. Just a, a quick throwing it out there, you know works for me, you know, but typically I don't do hats or garments that are uh, younger or, well, smaller than adult because I can't, I, I don't have a model or a gauge to go based on. Um, so like, for instance, the hat that I just showed, I can use myself as a gauge and it works for me. So that's why most of the tutorials that I do, it's strictly for adult sizes. So as far as writing a pattern, what I was just saying before, that's that's essentially what I would do is just sort of, instead of going all the way to 72 stitches, just, you know, scooch it back a little bit and then continue on with your pattern. So that's what I would do. All right, next up. All right, so my next letter is from Washington. Now I don't see a name on here, so let's see. Let's see. 
Ooh. I love the stationery. Oh my. Just the inside of the envelope. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. It's so vintagey. And it's it's very it's very robust. It's very, very robust. Now let's see. Such beautiful penmanship. Now let's see, do we have a name here? This is from Claire. Okay. Hello, I have recently found your videos and wanted to write and tell you I just love them. Oh, you're so welcome. Um, you are so friendly. It makes me feel like I'm in the same room as you. I think of a nice big chair, fire in the fireplace, and moving partly outside. I think that that's what that says. Um, oh, I was born on February 18th, so I'm a day ahead of you. <laughs> I'm on the 19th. Um, if it is possible, I would love it if you could write back. I was thinking we could start a correspondence of movies, books, projects um, we are doing or dreaming of doing. I have so many projects on the go right now. It's crazy. Let me tell you. I understand. Um, let me reassure you that I can, that I am not a stalker or a crazy fan. Uh, just someone um, who would like to get to know you as a friend. I fully understand if you are too busy or just think that this is weird, but I figure it's worth a try. Anyway, um, then there's a dress. Keep up the videos. Love the chatter. Um, hope to hear from you soon. Claire. Well, thank you, Claire. Um, well, typically I, it, it's not that I'm not interested. Okay. Definitely. Okay. It is not that I'm not interested, but typically I do not, um, I don't have the time for pen pals. Um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, correspondence back and forth, the best way to get in touch with me would be through Facebook Messenger. Um, I will be the very, very first to say that I could be better at responding. For those of you that do leave me messages through Facebook Messenger um, and I haven't responded, I preemptively apologize for not responding. Sometimes the comment is, love your videos, they're great. You know, thank you. You know, that, that's awesome. If it's a specific question, I'm much more inclined to try to answer said question. Um, I get a lot of messages regularly, and it is very difficult for me to time management and prioritize, um, you know, what do I work on at any given time? I do try. Do I always succeed? No, no, I will be the first to admit. Um, and I have addressed this before where it's like, there's, there's, there's just one of me, and um, I'm working on designing, and you know creating new stuff for videos and my my video game channel that's been taking off oh yes that has been taking off um and um so there's there's a lot going on in my life right now and now that uh we're no longer under lockdown i have a lot less free time because yeah i'm going back to work um several times a week so that cuts into my free time that i i really loved having but we do what we got to do, right? Um, so as far as not responding, um, please do not take it personally. I have an exceedingly busy schedule. Um, so it's really difficult. I try. I do try. I'm not going to say I'm going to give myself an A for effort. How about a B? You know, a B, not quite a B minus, but um, it's not because I don't care. It's because I don't have a lot of time um, and I love hearing from all of you and seeing your projects and seeing the various things that you're working on. But yeah, the best way to get in touch with me would be through Facebook Messenger. As far as, like I said, as far as my response, it can be very much a hit or miss kind of experience with me. And I apologize for that. 
I just, if I could create, if I could knit up a clone or a little knitted homunculus um, to help me out with that, that would be great. But we do what we can. I'm sorry. But thank you so much for writing. I do appreciate it. Now, what I was saying before um, about my gaming channel, and I've got one, one more happy mail, but before um, I open that, I did want to go into a little bit of what I was talking about with my gaming channel as well. Now, with my gaming channel, just recently, I'm so, so happy about this. Just recently, I did reach a thousand, a thousand subscribers, and which that means, yes, I can finally monetize that channel. Ah, oh, finally. So happy. Um, now, I'm not going to go through all of my previous videos and change the monetization status on those because, again, I've got like over a thousand video game videos, but it is something that I will be able to do from now on. And it's funny because, um, yeah, I've, I've already earned a, a few dollars in ad revenue. And again, I'm not going to do ads, doing mid-roll ads or non-skippable ads. No, that is, again, not my style, and I am going to keep keep close eye on that um, but I'm very excited because I have I have put in a lot of money into acquiring video games and my PlayStation 4 and so forth so finally I feel like I can get something back from the rather large investment that I put in so I'm very excited and also recently I did put a post on this channel that on that channel well I've been playing the Sims. I went a very long period of time with not playing The Sims. And then one of my viewers told me, oh, there's a knitting, a nifty knitting expansion pack for The Sims. And I I was all over it. I was all over it like a cheap suit. And I did, I did purchase it. It was like $10 on the PlayStation Store. And I started immediately. And I've already done two episodes of The Sims where there I am with fedora and my little green hoodie, you know, stitching away on my couch, making hats and socks and sweaters. I've never knitted a sweater before, but oh, he can. <laughs> and uh, sweaters and stuffed toys. And it's, it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. What's weird though, now this is, this is from a, an actual knitter standpoint. What's weird though, is that no matter what you're knitting, the, the little animation of me knitting, it always looks like a, a striped scarf. Even if I'm knitting a hat or a stuffed toy or a poof or a sweater, it always looks like I'm knitting a scarf. And then magically, poof, I have a sweater. And then instead of selling on Etsy, as I do in real life, in the game, you can sell your items on Plopsy. How cute is that? Um, and... Uh, it, it's it's fun. It's cute. I, I'm rather enjoying it. And then in the game also, I have my, my husband, Edward, um, and um, we have various hijinks going on in there. And um, yeah, I'm expecting. Yeah, in The Sims, you, you can become a father, even if there is a, um, a mother involved. <laughs> it's... it's it's very liberal. Um, and so, yes, I'm, I'm expecting a child. Um, at the moment, I'm in my third trimester. Yeah, I know, right? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be expecting a child. Um, it's just, it's a lot of fun, you know. Um, and so if you guys are interested, you know, feel free to check out uh, my video game channel. Like I said, I already, I put out only two uh, recent episodes of The Sims uh, in which I'm knitting my little heart out. Um, and the reason why I decided to have a child again uh, in, in the game um, is because I can knit little baby onesies and little toddler outfits. And I thought, how cute is that, right? So I, I just, I had to play devil's advocate and there you go. So at any rate, um, also speaking of Etsy and Plopsy, um, I cannot tell you how delighted and pleased and thankful that I am to 
all of you for supporting me and helping me and purchasing the recent pattern that I put up on my Etsy store, the Virus Chevron Blanket. You guys blow me away. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm speechless. Um, just the, uh, the, the amount of support. Oh my. And I already got some reviews back from the, the pattern that it's easy to follow and it, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. And so what I would like to do is keep that pattern uh, up on my Etsy store uh, indefinitely so that if you like the, the video for the virus chevron blanket and you want a written pattern, that way you can obtain it. Um, I don't plan on taking it down at any time soon. And I would just like to you know, have that up indefinitely. But seriously, I thank all of you very, very much. And I also did make some sales recently on my store as well um, with actual tangible items. So what I would like very much to do is try to get on the ball and to put up more items onto my Etsy store um, and see what happens. So that being said, I've got one more little bit of happy mail, but you know, I, I wanted to digress for just a moment um, about other things, but one more happy mail. All right, let's see what it is. All right, so last but not least, I have, this is from Kelly in California. Thank you, Kelly. Let's see. <laughs> so elegant, right? I'm like a big child, I know. Oh, let's see what we got in here. Well, we've got a letter and something in here. It makes me think of a popcorn bag. Let's see. Hey, Spider-Man. <laughs> I just wanted to send you a little token to let you know how much I appreciate your videos and tutorials. Thank you, Kelly. And this is Holly and Mistletoe. I'm assuming that that's a YouTube channel, either a YouTube channel or perhaps an Etsy store. I know not. It doesn't say. But let's see what we got. Ooh. 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 We got some stitch markers. Cool. Ooh. 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 And they're so cute. They're little, they're, excuse me, they're little buggies. We got little buggies. Now, let's see. So we've got, all right, this is going to be interesting. All right, so we got a little spider. This is my favorite. I love this. Thank you. And then I've got, let's see, little, little, little yeah, it's a little ladybug. Little cute little ladybug. And... Bear with me. Yep. We got a little bumblebee. Yeah. And then, oh, we got a little flutterby. Little butterfly. That's so cute. Thank you. Oh, and I love the ring too. Can I can I get it open? I'm sure I can figure this out. Oh, and I was trying to get it to go up. It goes down on a little spring. I love it. I like this actually a lot more than the typical key ring types um, where it's it's threaded like a, a, a tight coil. That's really cool. I love this little spider dude. Love the spider dude. Thank you so very much. And that was from Kelly. Kelly, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You can never have too many, too many bubbles or, or doodads, or gizmos, or what have you. So I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. So listen, guys, I want to thank all of you for watching, and I hope you liked the video. And um, yeah, so again, to recap, I am going to be trying to do what I can about rectifying the situation with the ads, um, you know, 
I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to take it with a grain of salt and just keep, keep plugging along. And I want to thank you for your understanding and your support. And I thank you for the happy mail. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see me as a computer generated avatar knitting, you know, check out my gaming channel. Um, I do play a lot of other games as well, but now that uh, the Nifty Knitting expansion pack for The Sims has come out, I thought, you know what, what, what better time? And the fact that it does also sort of relate to this channel, I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll mention it. Um, so yeah, anyway, listen, guys, I hope you have a great day. And I hope that you're all staying safe and sound and inspired and stitching and all that good stuff. So until next time, stay inspired. Stay caffeinated, stay stitching, stay safe, take care of yourself and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody.